Hey guys, we're out on the line today here in uh, northern Louisiana and I got me a really nice male otter this morning. We're set up on a, a crossover, big drainage ditch, a big duck pond or duck hole over here. Duck season's over, they're going to get this planted in rice here probably, I would guess within the next few weeks the way stuff's going down here. So they're letting all the water out of it. But these otters are still coming up here feeding on the, the turtles and the fish and all this other stuff that's up there. Um, I mean, we found turtle shells and fish scales and all kinds of stuff here when we was setting this place up. So I'm going to go ahead and take this otter out of the set and then remake it so you guys can see how I do it. Yeah, yep. I know somebody on this video is going to ask what setters are like. You just make it so I don't get on it. Yeah, they're, they're really nice. I don't know, the stickers wore off, but all his are that bright green color. I really like them. They're, and Dave's a good guy. Yep, Dave's a great guy. So the trail's coming up right inside that pipe and going up through here. I had this trap set right here inside this tree. I use sticks a lot for stabilizers. Um, I do have some other stabilizers I'm working with at the moment, but this one I just went old school and used the sticks like I normally do. So another thing I do when this trail's pretty wide open, I'll put some other stuff in here just to kind of block him down and make him want to go through that trap. Fluff some leaves up around it. just to make that be the ideal spot for him. But there's our set.